people are worried because the H3 virus is a particularly troublesome virus. It doesn't get controlled very easily. Cases of severe flu caused by the influenza A, H3, N2 virus have been on the rise in the country for the last few months now. Uh, new cases have been, are being recorded every single day and some deaths have been reported as well. People are not quite sure what to make of the situation and how seriously we should be taking it. So to answer some of these questions, I have here with me virologist Dr. Shahid Jamil. Thank you so much for joining us, Dr. Jamil. Thank you, Anushka. So I have some data here as well. In 2021, H3N2 was recorded in India, but at that time, even at its peak, uh, the maximum was 30 cases per week is what right. was being recorded. But now uh, what's being recorded is around 60 cases per week. And this is just data from 27 ICMR labs. So the actual number is likely higher. Um, is there a reason for this kind of a spike? I think what has happened between 21 and 23 is that if you recall in 2021, many of us were still wearing masks. In 2023, we're not wearing masks. So we were getting this indirect protection. But since we did not get much flu in 2021, in 2020 and 2021 because of masking, many people's immunity against flu went down because there was, you know, so little population infection. And as a result of that, we are seeing now that uh, cases are going up. Uh, but mind you, it's the cases that are going up. It's not mortality that is going up. Yes, there have been about nine or 10 deaths. But if you critically look at each one of those deaths, it's likely to be in older people, in people who have immunocompromised uh, systems. Uh, one other thing I might add, and this is something that is of most concern to me, uh, it's the high levels of air pollution in India. And it is known that high levels of air pollution cause damage to the upper and lower respiratory systems. And any kind of damage is going to just make any vi respiratory viral infection much worse off. Uh, people who have just survived cancer are and are on any cancer therapy. People who have had a transplant and are on anti-rejection medicines. Uh, children have, uh, you know, weaker immune system. Uh, also because children have not been uh, exposed to flu naturally. Adults have been exposed to flu naturally. Uh, and older people, because in, again, in older people, immunity uh, goes down. So all these are vulnerable groups. Something else that's been in people's minds, especially since, um, you know, news reports are bringing up new cases being reported every single day, and it's kind of coming on the heel of COVID as well. How worried should you really be? How seriously should you be taking the situation right now? Well, any viral infection that is spreading in the population should be taken seriously, but it's not going to cause a pandemic. I mean, this is not the first time we've had flu. As I said, you know, it comes, it peaks every three, four years and then there will be a period of quiet and then it will come up again. Flu viruses are circulating in the environment much more extensively than the COVID viruses. There are all kinds of mammals that are host to the flu virus and its, its circulation is very complex. What will emerge in a given season is very complex. So yes, do everything that is sensible and uh, so wear a mask, if you can afford to take a vaccine, take a vaccine, especially if you're above 50 or if you have other uh, conditions that reduce your immunity, take the vaccine. It's a good investment. Uh, but most importantly, don't panic. And just because it's coming after COVID doesn't mean that it's another pandemic. No.